Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer. Anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. If we're looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we're currently sitting at $2.1 trillion, down 8.1% in the last 24 hours and BTC dominance is currently sitting at 49.8%. If we're looking at the overall markets, we did see a bloodbath across the board yesterday due to the fact that Bitcoin went down to that $51,000 mark and it did take the majority of the market down with it. As you guys know, Bitcoin is the leading indicator in the cryptocurrency market. So if it goes down, majority of the altcoins will drop double digits. But I believe it was just pure whale manipulation and you know these corrections do occur in a bull run and we can't really control that. Um, but uh, you know, aside from the fact that it was whale manipulation, we have been seeing green after green after green. So some sort of a pullback and a breather is absolutely normal before we do see newer highs. I personally, uh, you know, uh, during these dips, I personally pick up some more uh, coins that I like uh, if I have a more money laying around on the side. But as of now, everything is looking not so bad. We are starting to see a lot of coins recover from this correction. But uh, today I want to talk about none other than Cardano. So I'm bringing a daily Cardano update for you guys. Uh, if we're sitting at, uh, if we're looking at uh, Cardano's price right now, Cardano is currently trading at one dollar twenty-eight cents. Um, you know, and um, it's um, down seven point nine percent in the last twenty-four hours in USD comparative. It's also down one point two percent in the last twenty-four hours in BTC comparative. Uh, current rank on Coin Market Cap and on Coin Gecko is top seven. We uh, pulled down. Uh, due to the fact that Dogecoin uh, took over that uh, top six spot because it recovered faster than Cardano. But if we're looking at the market cap right now, market cap is st still holding very strong above that $40 billion mark. And we're currently sitting at $41.1 billion market cap. And 24 hour trading volume is at $6.4 billion. So everything is looking not so bad at all. Uh, but if we zoom out in the last 14 days, we're up 10.1%. So everything is looking not so bad at all. Uh, but, uh, you know, I want to share this with you guys. Um, I did share this in my previous video that I made today. But, um, you know, uh, BTC liquidation. Uh, yesterday, $4.6 billion worth of long was liquidated. Guys, $4.6 billion worth of longs were liquidated. And this is exactly why I tell... All my viewers especially to stay away from these leverage exchanges such as on Binance, BitMEX, Bybit, you know, any leverage exchange, uh, you know, exchanges, please, you know, stay away from leverage trading in general. It is very, very risky and I know a lot of newcomers are coming into the market. Please do not fall for these, uh, you know, uh, leverage exchanges. It's very, very risky and I strongly encourage each and every one of you to stay away. Because 95% of the time, uh, you know, people lose their money in leverage trading. Everyone it works extremely hard for their money. And, you know, you do not deserve to just throw it away like that. And, uh, you know, if I had to give a one, uh, you know, major tip to uh, anyone that's coming new into the market or even the people that have been in the markets for a while, please stay away from leverage trading. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. But at the end of the day, you guys do what works for you. This is just my personal advice that you know i'm just trying to help you guys in a way for you guys to you know stay away from this shady stuff uh you know 4.6 billion dollar worth of liquidation that's a lot guys that's massive numbers i have not seen such numbers in a long long time 4.6 billion dollars absolutely insane but I want to share uh, something about Cardano with you guys and then we will do the price analysis. So Cardano set to launch its first stablecoin, Age USD. According to IOHK CTO Roman uh, Pellerin, the Age USD stablecoin will open on Cardano as soon as smart contract features launch on the blockchain. Emergo aims to prevent events like uh, MakerDAO's Black Thursday, which appeared through weakness in its DAI collateralization mechanism in march 2020 a mass liquidation of a wide majority of maker vaults uh, caused around 4 million in die to be under uh, collateralized 
Uh, the stablecoin uh, runs on Ergo blockchain and works to automate within the mathematics uh, of the protocol itself. Reserve providers pay Ergo local currency ERG to mint and store, symbolizing the underlying collateral. Um, uh, users on the stablecoin can also store ERG in the reserves to mint age USD. The protocol only permits this if there are enough reserves above its reserve ratio. Notably, Banks also use a similar process to loan out funds. Cardano's ADA can also serve as collateral, uh, you know, to mint reserves. However, the possible downside is that only these two assets support the stablecoin, whereas various uh, crypto back die. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to share that with you guys. But now jumping into the ADI price, um, you know, I want to share some uh, things with you guys. As you guys may know, I made an emergency video last night when we do see the uh, saw this correction. But since then, guys, what I wanted to show you guys is that uh, Cardano has uh, been bought back up very quickly, and we are up um, from the you know bottom of that wick. We're up 18.5, 15 percent from that wick that we saw yesterday due to the fact that the entire market. Uh, went down and Cardano is no exception. Everything is going to go down with that market. Uh, but one thing that I want to share with you guys is very, very, uh, you know, um, interesting. As you guys can see, this trend line, Cardano is literally holding on that trend line right now. This trend line is very, very crucial. As as you guys can see, whenever we went down, we held this trend line when we, uh, uh, since we have been in this upwards trajectory. As you guys can see, we were held here literally on the trend line. And, you know, we've been supported by this trend line uh, like a couple of times and we're literally sitting on it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I you know what I would like to see uh, Ada do is, uh, you know, uh, go back to that one dollar forty five cents range and, uh, you know, consolidate around there. Uh, but we got to look at both the, you know, negative scenario i mean the bearish scenario and the bullish scenario so if the uh, bearish scenario were to play out guys uh bearish scenario uh you know i will uh, be considered uh it being bearish if you know it breaks this trend line and goes down and starts hovering around here that is bearish in my opinion because this trend line is very crucial uh in this upwards trend in my opinion but uh you know i i do not see that happen but you know like i said we gotta look at both the pot you know bullish and bearish scenario i do not see that happen because i believe there is strong support around those levels and it will be bought back up very quickly uh you know if we uh do see like this uh, uh, this is the crucial crucial resistance uh for uh ada it tried to break it once twice broke it third time uh you know but we uh, you know got rejected and we came back down but I believe if we were to see more volume kick in, we will see newer highs for ADA this um, you know month. And two dollars is my next target. But bearish scenario would be if we you know go below this trend line and start you know trading sideways here. But which I do not see happening. Uh, you know due to the fact that we are in an altcoin season and there's a lot of demand for Cardano, and I personally do not see that happening for ADA. If I'm bringing the Fibonacci retracement, um, we can check something out. So let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, so if we're zooming in, we could see, yeah. So we could see that, uh, you know, there is a lot of support around that 38.2.5 uh, and even 61.8. I do not see it. Uh, as you guys can see, we wicked all the way down to 0.5, but we were bought back up very quickly. And there's a lot of, as you guys can see, there's a lot of support around that 0.5 level, which is around that one dollar ten cents uh, and you know in this zone it's very very uh you know uh, strongly supported and i do not see it dropping below that unless again we gotta look at the bearish scenario as well unless bitcoin uh you know decides to just go like you know go back to 45k or 40k like we gotta look at you know we gotta think about that too because that is a possibility will manipulation do occur and if that were to happen, we could see it wick all the way down to these levels again. But I highly doubt it. Uh, but, you know, I think um, the bullish uh, scenario uh, outweighs the bearish scenario, in my opinion, due to the fact that we are in an altcoin season. 
and there's a lot of demand for uh, Ada right now uh, because you guys, as you guys may know, a lot of big influencers are talking about Cardano. And if you guys don't know, uh, uh, the Jake Paul and Ben fight uh, yesterday after uh, you know the fight happened, uh, Ben was asked about Cardano and he had some good things to say about it. And that goes to show that uh, you know the amount of people that really know about Ada and Charles Hoskinson, the genius, you know, and a lot of institutional interest along, uh, you know, uh, aside from. Uh, the uh, big influencers a lot of uh, you know uh, institutional interest is coming in ADA as well and people can see it take over Ethereum in the next uh, you know three years because it outshines Ethereum in so many ways I can go on and on and on and you know uh, you know the problems Ethereum has there's so many problems Ethereum has and even though that stay you know ETH 2.0 comes out I do not th I believe that you know that will solve the Ethereum problems and that's why I have always been mentioning that's why we are seeing a lot of interest coming into uh, other blockchains such as Cardano, Zelica, uh, you know, Polkadot. Uh, so I believe if ADA keeps on delivering, they will take over Ethereum in the next three to five years. Uh, and, uh, you know, I believe this is just the absolute beginning. As you guys may know, 31 billion, uh, 31.9 billion ADA is staked. And, you know, as we get uh, more and more ADA being staked, there's less Cardano on the exchanges. There's less Cardano on the exchanges. So then we look at the simple, you know, basic economic, uh, you know, rule, which is supply and demand. Once there is high, you know, high demand, and less supply, which is less ADA on the exchanges. What's going to happen to the price? Skyrocket. And that's literally what we're going to, we're waiting for. Once we do see more volume kick in and, you know, Bitcoin stabilizes for a while, as you guys know, we're still in the altcoin season. I could see ADA absolutely skyrocket. And my next target right now would be $2. But I would not be surprised if Cardano touches even $3 this, uh, you know, at, at the beginning of May or even end of May. I would not be surprised at all. As you guys may know, let me just point one thing out. If you see, uh, when, we saw, when we started this leg up, uh, we went all the way up 152%. So maybe the next leg up could be as big. Maybe it could be as big. But again, we cannot uh, know for sure unless, uh, you know, uh, unless the actual time comes. But I would not be surprised if ADA breaks, uh, you know, uh, three no reaches three dollars in May as well, as long as Bitcoin stabilizes and you know um, we do get that altcoin rally that we all are anticipating, which a lot of analysts are calling. For to happen and i strongly believe that as well but like i said only time will tell but before i be, uh, you know um end this video out i want to say always invest what you can afford to lose guys never throw your life savings into crypto i cannot stress this enough and always take profit so going back to this uh, you know taking profits is very important because at the end of the day we're here to make money and you know nothing goes up straight forever and we're seeing that right in front of us we're seeing that right in front of us so always take profits but at the end of the day, you guys do what works for you and stay safe out there. Safety comes first, health comes first, family comes first, and everything else absolutely comes later. And do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, uh, you know, before I end this video, please let me know in the comment section below which other projects you want me to cover on a daily basis. Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. And uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap up today's content. Uh, it's been CryptoZX and peace out.